Today's lesson on cooking school is all about sauces. First, I'll teach you how to make a classic French Bernese sauce, perfect for a pan seared or grilled steak. Then I'm gonna show you how to make your own barbecue sauce using basic pantry ingredients. You'll love the way it flavors ribs or chicken. Next, two of my favorites for serving with fish, a lemony tartar sauce made with chopped cornichon. And salsa verde, a flavorful green sauce made with capers, anchovies, and lots of fresh herbs. And a simple and delicious spicy cocktail sauce to go with those wonderful icy cold shrimp. Sauce Bernese is a derivative of its more popular cousin, Hollandaise. This classic French sauce is made from a reduction of vinegar and wine, thickened with egg yolks and butter. Its silky, creamy consistency is, well, sort of like heaven served alongside a grilled steak. And it's easy to make. Before I start making Sauce Bernese, I just want to make a reduction of white wine, champagne vinegar, half a cup of each, two teaspoons of cracked black peppercorns, a quarter of a cup of shallots, very finely minced, and one and a half uh, teaspoons of tarragon leaves, finely chopped. Let this come to a boil and reduce to two tablespoons. This has to cool before you uh, make the sauce, so it's better to get this done right away. Bernays sauce is essentially an emulsified butter sauce. Emulsified just means a suspension of one liquid in another with which it can't mix. So you kind of force it to join together. Adding the butter slowly will prevent the sauce from breaking or separating. So I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Three egg yolks, one to two tablespoons of hot water. I'll start with one. Mix this over simmering water. This is a bain-marie. And I'm using a glass bowl, heat proof. Very good. You can also use a stainless steel bowl. And that water just lightens the egg yolk and makes it a little bit more able to assimilate all that butter. And it's two sticks of butter, half a pound. Some salt a little bit of pepper. And when these warm over the simmering water, I'm raising the heat a little bit, you start incorporating the butter. Bernays sauce and Hollandaise sauce can sometimes be confused for one another. And although very, very similar, Bernays has the inclusion of that white wine and vinegar with tarragon. So now our butter can go in here. It starts to melt and you don't want it to melt like melted pot. You just want it to emulsify. So our liquid is almost reduced to two tablespoons. Watch that. It goes really fast when it gets down to uh, a couple tablespoons, so be careful not to burn it. The one thing you don't want to do, and keep adjusting the heat so that it's only a slight simmer, is to cook those egg yolks. Do not want to cook them. They will scramble. And here the butter is going in very nicely. Uh, you can see that the liquid has reduced, and now I'm going to just let it cool in the pan we're gonna strain that right into the Bernays. Bernays is most classically served over steak, as we are serving it today, but you could also serve it over grilled fish or vegetables. It's one of my favorite sauces. I really love Bernays. So there, look at that. That's a good looking sauce. It's a nice consistency. And I can now stir in one and a half uh, teaspoons of chopped chervil and one tablespoon of chopped tarragon. Mm. Don't let this separate. If it gets too hot, it will definitely separate. And I think I can just take this off, put it on our counter. 
Wow, doesn't that look great? Now add your little bit of intense flavor. Just put this right in a sieve. Now if you were barbecuing and wanted to have a Bernays sauce, you could probably uh, serve those barbecued steaks with all these solids in the Bernays sauce, but I really like to strain them out. And here we have a really beautiful Bernays sauce. Now here's a grilled steak. Serve this alongside it, around it. I think you'll find that it greatly enhances your next beautiful piece of grilled meat. Steak served with Bernays sauce, I think it's the perfect combination.